What is up? I am back. I'm playing Mythic Gate. Uh, one day a gr gate created by the god suddenly appeared in the human realm. Oh, uh, welcome daredevil adventurer. Okay, let me tell you something about the world. Who am I? You don't need to know about that. Okay. Your objective is to enter the dungeon, overcome all the challenges, and to make your wish come true. Okay, okay. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Uh, shrink. Shrinken yourself with your weapons and skills you acquire along the way and defeat the um, out oncoming enemies. Okay. There are some facilities in this base and will help you survive. Oh, is this like a bullet heaven? Oh, if it's a bullet heaven, then I could definitely play this. I think it's more like Isaac, though. Like... Are arena shooter, like, like, you get trapped in an area and then you have to kill stuff. Uh, you may want to stop by and check them out. If you understand, head for the gate in front of you. I don't always remember every single game that I asked for, for a review copies for. Um, I'm sorry, but I am grateful that I was given a review copy for the game. Uh, it looks like controller support uh, works, kind of. Yeah. Uh, probably don't want to use a controller. Actually, don't want to use a controller because it is... I can't move my gun really fast. So, complete the tutorial. Complete the first trial. It's my little robot person saying... Oh, I uh, get two of the gems. I'll give you away. I'm giving away gems in exchange for the information you get from exploring the dungeon. Keep feeding, feeding my thrive for knowledge. All right. Sounds good. Sounds like plan. I'll do that right away. Here you can view the information of the battle weapons you have acquired. Okay. Well, I only have one weapon acquired right now. Here you can view the information on the enemies you have defeated. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well. Wait, did this lady have text that said what she does? Here you can view your achievements as adventure. Yeah, yeah, she said that. Uh, like. uh here you can... Gain skills in exchange for gems. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. All right. Sounds like a plan. Here we go. Uh, man in the hood. Here you are. Here you are an adventurer, aren't you? I can see that. I've seen a lot of adventurers like you. I know that you can came here to conquer the dungeon but you shouldn't go shouldn't go any further uh shouldn't go there <laughs> it's for your own good i cannot be a voice actor just saying that look those red p pillars are gravestones for those who die or never return and if you're not if you're lucky enough to get back well well, you'll not, you're, well, you're not in the best of shape. What? Are you still going in? You're got your reasons. Looks like there's nothing I can say to stop you. You can enter the dungeon through the gate. Be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Uh, yeah, you're walking very extremely slowly. Uh, thank you, though. I have my little robot buddy with me. I should be fine. First, I'll teach you how to conquer the dungeon. Explore the dungeon and find... Uh, 
the keys first collect the key keys are an empty uh, or item needed to open up doors in the boss rooms okay uh the keys drop when you defeat enemies or open treasure chests find the boss room and defeat the boss find boss room while collecting keys if you collect all keys the door the door will open and you can fight the boss however the space time in the dungeon is distorted you may not always end up fighting the same boss warp at points from the inter map on the pause screen you can instantly move to an active activated warp point you can use it to help you travel and explore easier okay i also moved my webcam to the right side i think that is better i didn't read all that <laughs> okay uh, they say that 200 years ago during the great war there was a twin who wished for eternal life one of the twins was you, right? I'll see you later. What? What's that? One of the twins? Okay. I guess I have a gun. In my active skill, I don't know how to use it. I can use my gun and then the bar over here is refilling. Sweet. Oh, uh, there's a merchant right here. I can't buy anything though because I don't have any money. So, yeah. Okay, so you're exploring the rooms. You're exploring rooms. So it's room-based combat. You, I'll show you the basic fighting techniques that tell you and how the dungeon works. Act, uh, about actions. Attack on RB. Dash is left B. Uh, dash for a certain distance. Okay. Dash has an vulnerability timer. Attack is the direction of the target. There is no limit to the number of bullets you can fire. So shoot as many as you want. The dash has an vulnerability time and can be completely avoid enemy attacks. It allows you to jump to over holes as a certain distance. This also is an important action, so practice and get good at it. Eh. Eternal life is not something to be wishing wished for lightly. There was a price to pay for the wish you made. An outcome for your sibling was the cruelest of all. I'll see you later. So I, I wished for eternal life, I guess. Yeah. Playing with a controller is not working. It does not work correctly because you can't really aim correctly. Uh. Uh. I just died super fast. I was switching between controller and mouse. No. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, you just jump right back into a dungeon. Sweet. Pressing the wrong button. Alright. Okay, kill that one. Alright. Got all those. Uh, where is the last thing? Oh, there's a little slime right here. I didn't even see it. Okay, how do I use the dash again?
I'm not very good with keyboard and mouse. That's why I wanted to use a controller, but... I have to get used to the dash move, it said. How do I use the dash move again? Enter map. So, that's where my map is. Help. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Dash is right click. Okay, right click is dash. Okay. Okay, I can easily do that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you can hit them into the water and then they get hit. They die. It's a pretty cool game. This did just came come out recently. This came out recently. Pretty sure. This is not too hard too. Once I get used to this, like, I, I think I could do this a lot better. Like, this is easier than Necro Bouncer, for sure. Which is similar to this. Or AK Oxy Auto, which is similar to this. Also, Isaac, similar to this. Fly game is similar to this. I guess I need to look over to the chat over there. What is this? Is that a respawn point? Okay, so now we have a rabbit in this room. I don't like the pig one. The pig one sucks. This thing hurts. Okay, well, I just have to be careful. Okay, well, okay, it was only my second attempt. I'm still getting in the hang of the dash move. I think I, I'm going to do a lot better this time. All right. All right. I passed this room without taking any damage. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I can go up here. This way. Oh, there's a room with a chest in it. Okay. I got a sword. Oh, I can switch between my sword and my gun? How do I switch? It says E. Help. Um. Scroll, scroll wheel. Okay. Scroll wheel. Okay. Uh, this one costs a bunch of money. Yo, the sword's pretty dope. That was risky. I guess it's better for like these types of enemies. For ranged ones like this, it's probably better to just hit them with the gun. I didn't even see that slime. Okay. I do like the level design for this game too. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know what 
that is. I only have one of those. I need three of those. I need to clear up more areas, I guess. Oh, this must be a healing. Okay, I did heal with that. So pots can be broken to potentially get healing. And you don't have to shoot pots. You can just walk into them and they will open. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Can I fast travel or something? Is there fast travel? Uh, D, W, attack, aim, uh, scroll, spacebar active, decline, E, escape, pause, okay, no. Enter map. Oh, you can teleport between areas, yeah. That's what I thought. You just have to enter the map to do it. Okay, well, then I should enter this area and get this uh, one chest I didn't buy over here. Oh, wait. I don't have enough for that. So. Oh, this is uh, a shop right here. Here, we can purchase... Purchase that. Uh, maybe come back and purchase these down the road. Uh, my monitor wants me to do a refresh. We'll do that between the next game. Take a six minutes break. But I'm having fun in this game, so. Not. Pause here. They're already 18 minutes in. It definitely won't be a run. I'm not the greatest at these types of games. Though I do find them fun. And this game is going to be one that I'm going to play again. Oh my god, I got a crossbow. Oh my god. This one shoots three times and then it reloads. That's pretty dope. Okay. Wait. Yeah, okay. The crossbow is amazing. Oh my god. The crossbow is great. I'm at full health now. Alright, just not mess up. Keep on ducking around the corner and then we'll play it safe. I don't know if anything disappears, so pretty much want to grab it as soon as I can. Yo, I like the aimer. The aimer is so good in this game because you can actually tell like where you're shooting towards too. Some people would like say the aim assist is like kind of cheating, but I, I think it's really good. These types of games, some of them lack that feature and that's the feature like you kind of need in some of these games. Okay. Ah, shoot, I fell in the water. All right, let's just kill these little slimes. Ah, oh, shoot, I thought it was behind there. At least I didn't fall in the water. All right. All right, I am getting used to the dash a little bit. 
Does the dash make it for I move faster? If I dash? I want to get an active skill. Oh shoot, I picked up the gun again. Oops. I don't like that you just automatically pick up. That's kind of sucky. That's kind of sucky. Alright. By that, we got a gem. Okay. Nice. That's how the game progression. Alright. Uh... I need to open up map. So M opens up map. Makes sense. So this is the boss area. Yeah, so I can go to the boss now. Let's go see what the boss is like. It's pretty simple too. Like, it's not super hard. I think it's very well balanced right now. For me, that's like, I'm not the best at these types of games. Okay. Okay, I just need to focus. I need to focus. Okay, 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 okay. Can I just keep on dashing? So like no cooldown for the dash? Okay. Like dash is a little bit OP. <laughs> if it has no cooldown, it can just dash into a corner. You can dash into a corner and die. <laughs> we'll get hit at least. Trying to focus. I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to focus. I killed it. I killed it. Oh, I barely won. For the last time. After defeating the boss, a door opens that leads to the back of the room. You can only learn one skill at the end of a room. Uh, dot exclamation point X zero door. Don't forget to take it. Touch the gate and you can proceed to the next trial. Okay. If you die, you can try and try again, right? We have all the time in the world, so I'll be watching your progress. I won't be bored. This is what you get for wishing for an eternal life, I guess. Now I don't get full health. I lost a lot of health there. Chance of inflicting movement speed reduction on hit. Uh, chance of inflicting continuous poison damage on hit. That sounds amazing. I might acquire this one. Okay. Ancient Ruin. I got an achievement. Pretty awesome. I don't. I. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, my God. There's a lot. Of... Okay, this area steps up the game. 
Oh my god. Oh, it steps up the game here. Okay. You thought the first area was easy. Oh no, we just throw a bunch of stuff at you. <laughs> this time. No! No! I barely got hit there! Cause of death. Roper. Roper? Return to base. Oh, okay. You got 18 gems. Get two gems for every item you fill in the here. Oh, I didn't unlock any items, though. Oh, no, I did. I did unlock two items. Oh, and also here. Okay, so I did get 18 gems. Okay, so I got 18 gems. That's pretty good. So I can trade gems in... So this is like the beast in there. Beast... Beast in there, whatever, like, your stuff. And then this is out of game progression that you can actually level up stuff. So I'm just going to level up passives. Uh, and then I can become immortal. <laughs> 15 chance to completely avoid enemy attack when hit when HP is one. That's pretty good. Increase maximum health by two requires 700 gems. Okay, 700 gems. That's not like I only have 60 gems available to me to spend right now. Chance to drop a healing item when a player when a character takes damage. When I take damage? Or when an enemy takes damage. Increase your invisibility time one. Well, I'm going to learn this anyways. All right, 15 gems. Oh, I had to go to them to actually get the gems, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I had to go to them to get the gems. I don't have any more gems to spend. So I just go back into the dungeon. I mean, dungeon's not super hard. Like, I beat the boss. Even though I beat it barely. Like, it's uh, Isaac, and you need to <laughs> beat Mother every single time. <laughs> or beat Mother to unlock it before you can play with the mods. <laughs> Runic Master? I just gotta achieve it. Oh, he dropped the healing. Oh, that's super OP. Oh my God. You need to take that. You need to take that. Whenever you get that chance to get something, take that. If you're going to play this game, you need to take that healing one because that is great. That's great. Even though it's only a 2% chance, it is whenever an enemy takes damage, it might even include yourself because it's said a character. It doesn't specify enemy or yourself. In character takes damage, then you have a chance to get healing item, which is amazing.
Okay, so now go over here. Oh, I might kill that bird first. I go over here. I don't need to use the dash all the time. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, you don't need to use the dash all the time. Okay, well, misspoke about that. All right, got that. Let's go. I need to find some healing now. I went down two hearts. That kind of sucks. What is this? What does this do? Oh, it's a grenade. It's a grenade. Oh, oh this is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that grenade. Oh my god. Oh, there's another thing. I still want the grenade more, though. Oh, got a thing. Oh my god. Oh, this grenade's pretty good. I don't think I can hurt myself, too. So that's pretty awesome. Go get all this in this room. And oh, I could buy a shotgun. I'm gonna buy a shotgun. Let's go purchase the shotgun. I kinda want this. I think it's going to help. This with this grenade. Oh, it's gonna be mean. It's going to be a mean combination. I'm, I'm just saying this now. This is going to be a mean combo. Okay, well. Got that. Got this. Well, we can go fight the boss now if we want. If we find it. Oh, yeah. Shotgun's amazing. Shotgun is amazing. Well, shotgun's normally amazing in these types of games. Break. Okay. Okay. I killed them. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got everything. Killed everything. We're good. We're golden. Oh, got some healing. Okay, well, should open up the map. Uh, where's the boss room? Question mark. Hey, where is the boss room? Oh, it has to be this way. Uh, there's no teleport to the shop. I'm gonna go see what the shop has still. I might want to get more stuff from the shop. Uh, chance to completely avoid enemies' hits. Attack power increases as remaining health decreases. Deal damage. Uh, that's pretty good. Gun with excellent rate of fire. Man, this gives you a lot of, like, options, this game. I really like this game. This is a cool game. This is definitely a cool game. I recommend 
wish listing the game wish oh i'm wish listing the game it is a definitely a cool game definitely will play again in the future oh okay so i'm at the boss room now so i'm not going to be able to get any more stuff from the shop all right it's the same boss as last time i wonder if there's any other bosses okay All right. It doesn't hit you when it does that, too. These, though, these do. But they disappear after a while. And those beams of light are pretty easy to avoid. Man, this shotgun is beastly. can destroy these you can destroy those those are enemies that you can destroy oh i don't have to avoid those what the heck am i doing then what the heck am i doing then what the heck am i doing then all right the heck uh 4% chance to drop a healing item when a player character takes damage. When a player character. 1% chance of inflicting movement speed reduction on hit. Deal damage when contacting an enemy with a dash. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to grab this. I finished that a lot faster than last time. See, let's just take some practice. And then you can be like me and be good. That's... Oh my god, that's amazing. It's a lot better than this, this one. Okay. I'm not very good. I'm still not very good at the game. Ah! Can I break other projectiles? Like, no, those shurikens I can't break. Man, that thing's tanky. Though, it only shoots like that and then it sh suicides and does a circle around it. So uh, I should note that. Okay. When it dies, it does a suicide type thing. Ow. Ah! Ah! Oh, the book just went in the water. Nice. Yo, I'm just have to stand right there. And I'm good. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. 
Oh, we can get that later. We can get that later. Don't risk it. Don't risk getting hit for that. It's not worth it. Because that's healing. If I get hit trying to go for after healing, then what's the point in getting the healing in the first place? Okay. Now we got the healing. 700. Hey. Uh, I think that we're doing pretty decent. Oh, uh, there's a way up over here. Okay. Okay. I always have to remember that my webcam is up there now. Don't forget. Oh, shoot. Okay. Dang it. Ow. Okay. Uh, you just gotta get that one in the corner over here. I don't know what hit me. Oh, shoot, it's the slime. It hit me twice before I realized. It sucks. All right, that's okay. That's okay. We can get some healing eventually. Okay, I took some damage already. If I can just avoid their attacks. Their page attacks. I can survive this. We can survive this to the very end. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just, oh, no, don't stand there. Okay, we got this. We got the threat down. We have the threat. I have a thousand gold right now. That's not going to help me unless I can get to a shop. I need to buy stuff where I can get new weapons. Before I can get more out of game progression stuff. The gems. Oh, here's the boss room. Or, no, this is not the boss room. This is just a... Another gun. It's a... What is this? I don't know what that is. A ying... A ying ying symbol? A peace symbol? What? What's that supposed to do? Ah, shoot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! No! Cause the death of slime. I had so much gold on me, too. Oh, that sucked. I definitely will play this game again in the future. It, it's a really good game. I highly recommend if you like the looks of this game, wish listing the game. Thank you for watching, really do appreciate it. There is two videos on the side can watch one of those i do play a lot of roguelikes if you like roguelikes definitely you might find games that you like on my channel uh subscribing always does help subscribing actually helps boost me up and gives me better opportunities to actually get more games to cover and uh it's always really cool to cover indie games especially like this game this game is amazing it is super well like 
it's not super complex. It's simple to the point. Like it, it shows you a guided line. It is really cool of a game. I, I highly recommend. And yeah, all right. Thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. See you next video.